Welcome everyone, hope you're all doing well. Welcome Invader Moxie, also known as Wesley. Let me know what name you prefer to be called by. Welcome Try, welcome Calvisha. Hope everybody is doing well today. Let's chat a little bit before we jump into the gameplay. So, here's what I know. Apparently, I wanted to look up just one thing. Small spoiler on the game. Thank you, Try, for subscribing. 16 months, that's a big number. I wanted to see if it was going to pull a Suikin in 3 on me and force me to play a different party. Apparently, it will. <laughs> so, we're going to spend probably the first 25 to 35 minutes gearing up this alternate party, and then we'll continue with the story. There's also one thing I forgot to do, so we'll do that before even that. Anyway, let's pause the soundtrack. Is it bad I don't recognize the song? <laughs> oh, like, the traveling dice thrower? I guess I never really played the other games that much. It is what it is. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the game. One second chat. Having a small audio issue on my end. I think the stream has the sound, but I don't hear the sound. Give me one second. This might drop the sound. Hmm. Being very finicky with me. That's okay. I'll just have to entertain myself, I guess, in the meantime. I mean, it's not like I need audio cues for anything, I guess. <laughs> Plus, it means I can concentrate on the chat a little easier. There's actually something I wanted to do earlier. I mentioned it before, but never actually did it. So, apparently we could just raid the King's Wardrobe. So, this could only happen, I think, after we saw him dress up that one time in the previous session. Our questions are, what are these clothes doing here? Or I'll put them back. We're gonna say, what are these clothes doing here? We acquired fancy garb. So this basically stops him from dressing up later in the game. I'm not even sure what it's considered. We have a lot of old books we'll look at, I think, after we potentially beat the game. Described as a nice-looking set of clothes. Well, <laughs> nice is very subjective, as I didn't really like his other set of clothes. So apparently that's going to change the ending very, very, very slightly. And let me think. I need to go to the second story, and then from there... That means... I can swap characters. I think I'll remember this team. Ted Maxine Jean sounds pretty much top tier. However... I'm gonna bring in the other characters. So Chad had selected a few additional characters. So one of them is Chifu. Were the backup characters. Hello, Murphy. Hope you're doing well. There are so many characters. Oh my gosh. I'm getting lost in the list chat. Are they on the ship? Oh, there's Vicky. Vicky, I need to level more for sure. Kate, I want to level slightly more. And Rita. Oh, I was trying to remember what her name was. I thought her name was uh, Ricky for some reason. <laughs> I was close. We have Vicky and Rita. So these are the characters I'm going to focus on leveling. Chipu's level doesn't matter as much because he's more of a melee character. As long as I upgrade Chipu and get into fights eventually, it should be fine. Sorry for missing loads of streams. Don't worry, try. You wonder if the names are alphabetized, but in Japanese? I have no idea. All I know is that it's like... I think it might be in the order they are in the 108 stars, but that still feels like incredibly random because again, it's not something that the game really tells you unless you look at the other chart. But it's like, if you have to look at another chart just to learn what the order is, what's the point? Just sort it in an order that makes sense, like recruit order or name or something. I don't know, like either of those probably would have been better. I'm trying to think about where to level. I guess I should be leveling if I'm able to at the Royal Palace.
Yeah, I think it's... Oh, Vicky has, like, nothing. Oh, boy. Um... Let's give her a magical hat. All I care about is damage. Feather roll, good enough. Definitely need something else there. Minus speed, more magic. No, magic sandals are just straight up better. Give her thunder resistance and speed and... I guess I could just give her water resistance too. So she just has all the elemental resists. But we need to get another item for Vicky at some point. Her level being 36 is kind of a problem. Oh, speaking of which, let me remind myself. Okay, we got the slash rune. It won't really help us in this specific area, but it'll help for everything else, I think. So our goal here is just to kill some enemies. Uh, I don't really care what I use to kill them, honestly. Okay, so she has the ability to ignore magic. Okay, so I have some defensive options with this character. I need to re-equip Kate with a fire rune, and then I think we're good to go. Rita having sunbeam room is a little overkill. It's probably okay. So welcome, Chris. Hope you're doing well. So we'll... Really? Really? They killed her? super annoying, actually. Damage isn't even terrible, it's just more unfortunate. How did Kate go last? Can we talk about this? That is a mechanic I did not figure out while playing. How did the character with the highest speed go dead last? That makes no sense to me at all. Like, that's just actually garbage, chat. So anyway, we're hoping Vicky here gets more HP so she doesn't just die instantly in the other encounters. But more importantly, we can equip some runes on her. So hopefully with these level ups, this should be good enough. As you can see, she's already gained over 40 health, which could make a difference if the enemy does like 110, for example, or 130 a hit. Then I might not need to heal her every turn. You could just possibly survive a turn. So yeah, unfortunately we did lose a character there, but... Take a look at her. She suddenly has every single rune slot unlocked. So that's convenient. Use my regular medicine here. I don't feel like leaving this place yet. So I want to get into basically two more fights and then I think that's it. My remaining money will go towards upgrading maybe Chipu's weapon slightly. And that'll be the team I got to win with. Apparently, Twitch has some kind of update. All I, I don't know if chat sees this, but it goes, Murphy 540, milestone achieved. Murphy 540 watched three consecutive streams this month and sparked a watch streak. I don't, I don't know what that is. I'm assuming it's something new. It didn't show up interestingly on the chat of the video. That's why I wanted to call attention to it. And how out of place and weird that was. Backfires if it fails. Now we'll just defend. Uh, yeah, we'll Earthquake. We'll, we'll have Rita to defend. All I need to do is some big damage. <laughs> I was gonna say, Twitch, Twitch calling Murphy out, apparently. Well, that was a good instant kill. Let's hopefully this levels Rita a couple times. I don't need her heavily leveled. I think she's already pretty good. Unfortunately, those enemies seem to be worth no experience, as I've just now learned, and that's kind of sad. That was a waste of a high-level spell. I'll try one more battle to put them closer to 50. Again, it might make a difference. I don't want to do this battle. They're actually too weak. We need the other one. For some reason, I think the uh, zombie unicorn plus skeleton whatevers are more powerful. So they give just way more raw XP. It's not even worth fighting the other ones. Now, that is a good encounter because there's four of them. Um, Let's get some damage in. Hopefully, survive here. See, now she went first. Chat, what sorcery is this? Why did she go? <laughs> Why? I have a genuine question, chat. Why did she outspeed everybody that time, but not the other time? Okay, 
easy kill. Hopefully this levels us to 50 for the most part. Rita possibly getting more health means that her recovery per turn is actually not terrible. Vicky's health might be good enough? Let's take a look at their final stats as far as I'm concerned. 156 magic, pretty good. 129 magic, eh. 112, passable. But hey, her attack power is decent. So Rita might be able to auto attack kill, whereas Vicky is hopeless. Vicky is never going to be able to kill anything, chat, just spoilers. The speed on Kate should be insane. I don't get how we would ever really be out turned realistically. Anyway. I guess I could bring in Chipu once over Kate. Maybe. It really just depends on how much money I have. I don't want to spend too much time grinding since, again, we should basically be at the end of the game. I might have to fight a boss with them, maybe two. But hopefully, ultimately, I won't need more than that. I guess I'll identify whatever I picked up. Uh, we need to definitely give them new orbs. The her with the fire orb would be good. I could also give her... Let's see... Honestly, Sunbeam Orb is kind of tempting, just to make sure that she can survive. I don't really need that much else. What else would be useful with these characters? Killer Orb. Oh, I could actually take that over Sunbeam, maybe. Interestingly, she hasn't gotten enough magic to get another slot. And that causes Berserk. I want to test one thing with Kate. If I just give her Perma Berserk... I'm curious how powerful that'll be. Now for Vicky, we should give her Lightning and probably... Maybe a Wind Orb, just because. I don't think I really need anything else here. I could give them a Wizard Orb, but that's fine. Alright, so we got variety. I should be able to deal with them pretty much no matter what. The only thing I want to know from Kate's perspective is if she gets automatic berserk. How useful is that? Will that prevent her from using spells? Because they like to change the status ailments and we've barely played with the rage mechanic at all. So let us just level up Chipu real quick. I'll boot Vicky out briefly for Chipu. I don't think Vicky really needs anything per se, other than like maybe. Oh, I should have actually just realized I forgot to get her something. Not who I wanted to talk to. Let's see. Weapons are decently strong. Let's make Chipu actually do some damage. It would be nice. Oh, plus 30. That's a big jump. Okay. Hmm. So maybe the time where I had all those orbs, I could probably sell them for something. Hopefully nothing rare of interest is here. Good. Think what would be good for her. I'm assuming she could just wear most other things. So if I just get like really generic bangles or something, she could possibly use them. I think she had like no choices. I'll get that for Vicky. Only thing that popped up is why we can enforce so bad. I don't know. I feel like it wasn't that bad, honestly. I feel like people definitely over blew the game. I think there's parts of it that are disappointing, but I would rather play this over several of the games we've played already in the series, be being real honest with you before the review. Sometimes all it takes is just no jank. You know, you know you're not really asking for much, and sometimes that's all you really need. Oh, and she doesn't even have, like, really good equipment either. Interesting. Well, I could give her, uh, magic gear. In fact, can she even just wear some of this stuff that I have? Well, she can't wear magical hat. Oh, that's actually kind of annoying. 
Uh, sure. Make her more accurate. Lose one evasion for three to magic? Probably yes. I want to do as much damage as possible. So I think they're basically set up at this point. The only thing I guess I have a question is what can Shifu use, if anything? Lightning Medicine Rune. I mean, <laughs> I guess it's better than no healing, I guess. It's kind of like being able to heal 200 a turn instead of 150. Maybe it'll be useful. Oh my gosh, Chad, I got lost on the ship again. Let me think. I should be here, I think. Yes. We're just gonna do a quick fight and then we'll move on. I just want to make sure that our party is like decently leveled Just because uh, the difference of like seven levels is kind of important and it doesn't take a lot of time to do this So I'd rather not be stuck in a place where I'm at a point of no return and can't level Do you know what I mean? Because we're definitely at the point of we're going to enter the point of no return So at least I can say we upgraded our equipment a little bit I didn't leave them with nothing. I gave them some resistances and some speed ups, and I fixed their runes. Their weapons could use you could use an upgrade, but it's not like super important for them to have either. So I'm just gonna auto attack just to get an idea of my damage. Yeah, like 314 there was pretty good. Chipu 186, 163. So I mean, like they'll take some damage for it, but again, this team has like health recovery and good evasion. It might not be relevant. Keep boost, give him the slap. It's even just like a little bit more money, it should be fine. But more importantly, Chipu getting over 300 health would be big for us, I think. So potentially, this is the difference between Chipu doing, I would imagine, 140 or less before the upgrade to 210 plus. So dealing an extra 80 a turn could make a difference. Take a look at Chipu's stats now. Five magic shy of getting a level four. Chat, that, that is what's known as a boundary. If I hit 100 magic, naturally, or I think I need 101 in this game, uh, that means that I get another rune slot. And another rune slot means that, uh, more importantly, the level four magic means things are going to die. So I just need maybe one or two battles with Chifu. Although getting him to like 52 might be annoying. It depends on what we fight. This will help significantly. Let's just... Oh, I never rested. That's unfortunate. I thought I rested. Rip. Uh... Oh, I still got Explosion at least. And again, now she's mysteriously going first. I mean, she should have been the whole time, to be fair. The protagonist even level, that's good for us for later. Unicorn's horn, nice. Got a little extra money, I could upgrade one final character. I don't think it's worth leveling, I don't think it's worth spending time on Vicky's weapon, but maybe one level up for Chipu, because Chipu's only going to be counter-attacking, because keep in mind Chipu is the thing where he's got increased counter rate. Could make a difference. We're just gonna do a quick AoE here, just so I kill them faster. You know what's interesting is that doing that attack, it seems causes not just the enemy to skip a turn, but it, it acts as though a turn advances. I wonder if I can use that to exploit something. Like, if I know an enemy's gonna unleash a super attack, can I just make them skip the super attack? Etrian had something similar you could do with the bosses. Okay, they're almost all dead. Again, we improved our defense, so she's already taking at least 10 less to hit while having 50 more health. Thresholds that might matter given she heals 32 health. There we go. Take some damage here. So it looks like Fury Rune is just automatic, which is kind of nice. Again, we got a pretty good team overall. I think I'm ready to go. 
Chat. Chat, that is a tease. That is a tease. <laughs> Am I one magic shy of having another slot? <sighs> okay, how how hard is it to hit 51? I have to wait till later. That's so sad. That's so sad, chat. That level four would actually make such a big difference. I, I Again, it's like the difference between doing like 600 with the damage spell or a thousand. Like, it's kind of a big jump. On top of that, I think it unlocks another rune slot. So we'll just do a little more damage here, I think. I guess I could just kill these things without any repercussion. Focus on the zombies, maybe. I didn't do a whole lot of damage, but I should be doing some big AoE here. I know, that's so painful. If he doesn't level from this, I'm just gonna move on. But, like, hey, at least he'll be close-ish. Okay, so the protagonist should be able to finish them here. And then this is all the money I'm gonna have for, I guess, the remainder of the run. So I'm not gonna be able to use a shop, I think, after this point. Did one of them live with, like, one health? Seriously? That sucks. Oh no. Chifu's going. Oh, Chifu used medicine. Never mind. Auto battle. Okay. I mean, the free fury isn't bad, chat. Stone of magic? That's really tempting to use on Chifu. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's, like, not good, but it's really tempting. Um... I'll save it for Jean, honestly. So yeah, the Fury Rune means that I actually have a big damage dealer. I guess I could give that to Chipu instead of the Medicine Rune. Chipu should have more damage than Kate. Yeah, maybe that's what I should do, chat. Let's let's go slightly more optimal. So we've seen the Fury Rune doesn't seem to impact my ability to cast spells, which is good. Oh, I should have just teleported out of here. That was a mistake. So I could upgrade even the Protagonist with my version. Maybe I'll do that. Protagonist will have the better version. Melee hits. That's a claim. If only I had more magic. Sure, we'll furious blow one of these for no reason. Yeah, because then that would mean Chipo actually has like a real purpose. Because Chipo would go from I think 200 to at least 300 plus damage, which is about as strong as the protagonist. The protagonist is ridiculously strong. The protagonist has a nerf version of Fury. Oh, they actually killed the protagonist. Good job. Did it. More XP for this group then, right, chat? Like, okay. I don't see a downside here. Like, you, you got me. I'm splitting the XP less. And there we go. Rita leveled. Maybe it'll make a difference? Question mark. She was pretty close, I think, to learning new stuff. No, not quite. Only 117. Chipo with the, the 100 magic tees. Although Kate's 131 is actually pretty respectable now. I will state, she's looking pretty solid across the board. Let's leave. No more grinding. So let's rearrange things. I guess giving the pr the protagonist Fury is probably more important because I'm probably going to need it to finish the boss. As in like the final boss. And in case it has something dumb where it negates magic, because chat, remember Suikoden in 2 and 3, they really did not want you to have fun. So I could just do the opposite of this. So Fury Rune is just a better version of this. And Violence Orb is like a cheaper, low-grade version of the same thing. That should be fun. I mean, I could put Double Strike on one of the characters randomly. Um, is Chipu's magic even worth it then? I don't think so. Thinking about it. Don't forget to rest. Yeah, it'll be after I swap characters. Hmm. Let's 
give him the Violet Sword, maybe? Mix things up a little bit. You got to name the protagonist, right? Yes. That's why he's named Voidana. Uh, upgrade our damage a little bit. Ooh, that's a big upgrade, actually. Plus 22. Kate now has the Death Flower. Nice. And again, I think we're we're good enough. Not like super broken or anything, but we're fine. Uh, controller? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Just controller disconnected, I guess. That was weird. So I'm gonna get rid of everybody that I'm gonna put in the party that I want to play as. We'll see these characters soon enough, but at least they're not below level 50. Together, the final team. So many characters, chat. There's Jean. I almost picked Kate. I do like Kate. Is Maxine. Where was Ted? Oh, was Ted at the top? Did I just miss Ted? All the way back up. Oh, it's at the top. Uh, actually, sadly, Ted is one of- why is Ted so tanky? Wait a minute. 384, what? Whatever, chat. Boy plus bandana, yes. We're referencing another playthrough. It is the word of the stars. I mean, that's what I was thinking. I'm not really surprised. It's just very annoying, as I said before. Because it's like, when I recruit them, I don't know what star... Like, even if you tell me the star, it's not like... It's not saying like, oh, he's number 12. It'll be like, no, he's like the he's like the Yuzo star. But Yuzo might not be the last one, and it might not be in the same order. So it's like, but how, how does that put that character relative to anybody else? I don't know. It's a big shrug. One second, chat. I want to see if I can fix the audio. Sorry for pausing again. It really does not want to come through to my other headset. That's unfortunate. Chan, I'm actually going to take a very small pause here, so I'm going to merge the videos later. But uh, I kind of want to hear the final stuff, actually, because I, I realized I didn't hear the... Uh, soundtrack before so i'm gonna pause the stream briefly we'll be back hopefully the audio issue will resolve so be right back i don't know why i don't know why calvisham said f i said i'll be right back there's no f there i had to restart but anyway we're back now i can actually hear the game yeah i was like i was like in my defense I did say I was rebooting, but we're good. Let's see, do I need anything else before I go further? I guess I could use the Stone of Magic on Jean because it's funny. I'll use it on Jean because it's funny. Then I'll save so I don't have to do that again in case for whatever reason I need to restart. So is there anything else I forgot to do? I don't think so, but we'll make another save here regardless. This will be our final save. If I save again, it's going to go into the eighth slot. Since I don't think I can do anything other than the final battle once it starts. Uh, it was a pretty short break, so I don't think it would have done that. Oh, he has nothing interesting to say. That's a bit disappointing. Hmm. Realize we barely played with Rachel, but you know what? I'm kind of okay with the chat. There are a lot of characters and a limited number of slots. Let's see, anything else I want to do before I go? Maybe a couple lotteries. We'll go down to 75, John. Who knows? Maybe having two more Mega Medicines would help me. Okay. Good enough. We're good. So, I think I have to go to the war room for the plot to advance. 
And then after this happens, we are locked in. Now the real question is, Chad, do I even remember where the war room is? I feel like, I feel like I have so rarely gone there, I actually genuinely forgot. Oh, nothing actually triggered here. That's interesting. Hmm. One second. Let me confirm. I wrote down exactly where I was in the plot last time. Give me one more second. Oh. Silly me. You don't go to the war room to advance the plot. Obviously, you just go to the surface of the ship. A place you go to all the time. Definitely have done this before. That's completely clear, Suikoden 4. Thank you. I'm glad that I had to come up here to continue the plot. Nod your head, chat. What's that? Hmm? Huh? That's... Mr. Romanus! It's got something. Mr. Romada. Let's talk to the people. You don't have anything new to say? Wait, none of you have anything to say about the scene we just w witnessed? Do these two at least have something to say? Wow, they actually aren't going to comment on the plot. So anyway, chat, now of course, obviously we don't talk to the ninjas to advance the plot. Because that, that would make too much sense. So now, chat, we have to go back to the war room. Because <laughs> of course. Of course. It's fo foolish me, chat. Foolish. The time has finally come. Now here's a simple explanation of our strategy. Uh, can you keep it brief, please? I have trouble remembering long-winded things. I just got done saying it would be simple. You do remember that, don't you? Right. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, go on. I'll give you detailed instructions when the time comes. But first... About the rune cannon. Show it to me one more time. Fort El Il is at the southern end of Kuluk. It also serves as a window to commerce and diplomacy. It's called a fort, but it's more like a large castle. The rune cannon is at the top of the building. If we don't destroy it, we won't be able to get close. I like how I have to guess if I have to advance the dialogue or not. Thank you, game. So first, we'll send in a detachment to get rid of it. At the same time, our main force will remain in front and attack Kuluk's first fleet. This fleet usually roams the area near the harbor in case the rune cannon cannot be fired. There are times when the rune cannon cannot be fired? Once it's been fired, that particular rune cannon takes time to reload. It was written in a letter from Mr. Amada. We'll have to trust that information. This downtime will be the perfect opportunity for us to strike. I see. So we're going to make them fire the rune cannon once, then destroy it before they can fire another round. 
Well, that's pretty much it. Have I made myself clear? Want to hear it again? No, we're gonna say I understand versus one more time, please. Welcome, Kirk. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Shall we go with this plan, then? We should prepare a little more. Let's get right to it. We'll say let's get right to it. I'd like to execute this in the morning, three days from now. Everyone, please use this time to get ready. I'd like you to decide on members for the detachment. Come talk to me whenever it's convenient. So you are going after all, even though you finally regained your kingdom? Yes. If we leave everything as is, we're bound to suffer the same consequences. Even you know that, don't you, Setsu? Yes, sir. All right, everybody, listen up. Once we hit El Il, the threat to the islands should disappear for a while. It may only be temporary, though. But remember, we're fighting for lasting peace. That's exactly what's most important to all of us now, right? Right. And that's why I chose to put my life on the line. So... I guess we're good, question mark. I'll try saving on a separate slot. So it feels like we're pretty much past another point in a return. So if we had seen the cutscene with the bird, by the way, chat, that would have prevented us from getting snow. And I know you you would just be so upset if he was just lost at sea. Like, you, you just wouldn't be able to live with yourself, I know. Anyway, let's make a separate save before I did that event. And I guess we'll just proceed. have like cheering words but they don't really have too much to say if it is about the ship please come to my room later there's gonna be a later with tov okay well i'll talk to you well, i'm ready to talk to eleanor i'd like to select the members for the detachment i'm gonna say yes i'm ready okay then decide which members you want to assign to the detachment They'll be separated from the main force for a while, so the ones you choose must be able to hold their own in a fight. By the way, you can't go. You must stay here and command the forces. Alice left the party, Dario's left the party, Gina's left the party. Cena's left the party, Tedis left the party, Oscar's left the party. I guess it just unassigned me. So let's put together our alternate team. That's gonna be Chipu. And. Going through the list. So many characters. Also, it's very rude for it to boot everybody from my main party. Can we talk about that chat? Like, that is super rude. Vicky, Kate, Rita. Well, we could give them a backup support character. I think I probably wanna give them the best healing character. Now, the question is who is the best healing in the game? Let's find out, chat. Is that something that's not really been relevant, but is probably relevant now? So we never ended up playing with Emma at all. She's just one of the support characters. She's able to heal 10% health. How is that different from other people? Find out, chat. Gary also only heals 10%. Does Ricky heal anything else? Or are they just a flat percentage, unlike the other characters? What about Ricky? How much do you heal? 10% as well. Okay, it seems kind of flat. I guess it doesn't really matter who we bring with us. Unless Carrie suddenly has some big bonus. I feel like she's another character we basically ignored. 
She's able to heal 11 to 15%. Oh, so she's just better than the other characters. Oh. How about you, the actual doctor? Is you actually any good? Oh, he heals 18%? Oh, he's OP. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we figured it out, chat. I had to do a little bit of a lookup. Again, I think the other game kind of solved that by letting you... It should have been, like, healing 4, healing 3. Like, you could have conveyed that game knowledge to the player. I don't see what the point of hiding it is. I'd rather not test every single character and then write it down. Do you know what I mean? That's definitely a, a minus point for some of the menu stuff. But anyway, healing. Basic party. Next scene. I feel like I'm missing somebody easy. Oh, Jean was like a little up here, actually. And Ted's all the way at the top. Yeah, that was very rude of the game to get discovered money. Yeah, I don't think so. I have cooks. I think I just want random items just to see what the game can even give us. Uh, let's just build ship parties. I don't think this is really relevant, but... I guess I'll build them, just in case. I'll put Paula in there. Hmm. Maybe Gal plus... Dario. Who would be a good support? I think I need, like, another magic user character. The problem is I really don't have that many other mages. I think I got literally just the one. I guess I could put, uh, what's his name? Warlock there. And then ship party two, we will do... Maybe something like... Chiramine plus Ugetsu. Plus Katarina plus her teacher. Probably cover us. There's a lot to AoE. Okay amount of spells across the board. Not feeling too worried. Basic party looking pretty good. Let's see what happens. Okay then. I will accompany the detachment and instruct them directly. L uh, Lady Eleanor! Wait a minute. Won't it be dangerous for the tactician to accompany them? We must destroy the rune cannon by any means necessary. That's why I'm going. I've got the map of the fort and the structure of the rune cannon memorized in my head already. Counting on you, Miss Eleanor, you shouldn't, it's too dangerous. The bottom one, she's never gonna go for it. We're gonna choose them counting on you. If that's what you think, I have no right to stop you guys. But please be careful. I guess I'll save again so I don't have to do that, question mark, in case something goes horribly wrong. I kind of thought we would just be thrust into it immediately, but if it's going to give me a chance to save, I mean, I, I guess I'll do it. But again, we're going to put it in that other save file. So I would like to not sit through that cutscene again if we can avoid it. Need to get ready to work soon, sorry to hear that. Things go okay there. Oh, C. Murphy, thank you for muting the browser tab to still add to the view count. Appreciate it. Let's talk to them. He says, what is it? Nothing. Reorganize separate team. There's still time before we begin the operation. Why don't you just rest? Oh, chat, we got hit with the Suikoden Classic. Oh, I know what that means, chat. If only you just went to bed. Hold on, chat. We gotta find the plot bed. Hold on. <laughs> now we're living this weekend in life. We, we gotta sleep to advance the plot. You happy? How can I not remember that? She said three days. She didn't say rest it off in my defense. But she got me. Okay, now we can select yes, I'm ready. Sweeken is definitely gonna sweep it in. Oh. 
Okay. The decisive battle will take place tomorrow morning. I'm counting on you. Why is my hand open like that? What am I doing with my fingers? I know it says victory will be ours, but I'm like, are we supposed to be like clenching our fists? Like we're going like a hurrah? Why are we making like a small circle? I don't get it. What is this pose? Anyway, apparently victory will be ours. If someone looks, you get to punch them, apparently. I guess that's supposed to be a clenched fist, even though there's space between the fingers and nobody holds their hand like that. Shin figure hands, you're not wrong. So I guess this is the cutscene before the final battle. Tomorrow's our big moment, isn't it? If we survive tomorrow... Oh, Jewel, we barely played with you. Don't worry. We'll be able to return to Rosaril. That's right. Let's do our best tomorrow. I wonder what I'll do when I finally get back to Rosaril. That is the sword, Hellhand. You're not wrong. This would, it did look like they're redoing it. So... I'm not going to read their dialogue. I'm just looking for cutscenes. Do you have any cutscenes? I'll never be able to repay the debt. Well, I guess we'll see if he lives or not. You have anything to say? No regrets? Hello, Wendell. I think I've talked to you literally once this entire playthrough. Also, game please. So, what advances the plot? There's Kika. Hey, what are you doing here? We've got to get an early start tomorrow. I was wondering, that rune of yours, is it a great burden? You know, Brando died alone, but that was his choice. He never let anyone, not even his friends, get close to him. It's pitiful to think about, actually. Did Brando say anything? No, never mind. Uh, I'm sorry, forget what I said. Hello, Carl. You punched that air. You had a very disappointing attack with other characters. Oh, so... You're not going back to Middleport or the Rheinbach family fleet after this fight is over? <laughs> what kind of question is that? No, I'm just asking. I've already severed my ties to that place. In the eyes of Middleport, I'm a dead man. I intend to stay in the pirate business. I'll spend my whole life repaying Lady Kika for taking me in. What about you? Aren't you going to find your calling? I don't think so. I, too, would rather stay as Lady Kika's right-hand man. Well, first, we have to get tomorrow over and done with. Oh, right. Okay, so we're just gonna hunt for cutscenes, chat. Inevitably, the game will want us to go to bed. I'm not even gonna question it, it just wants us to go to bed at some point. But, we're gonna go through the ship floor by floor, room by room, to see if we find any cutscenes. Oh, hi, Brack. I forgot you were a character, to be honest with you. That is still the face. Oh my gosh, game, please. <laughs> there we go. So many death flags. There's a lot of them. Oh, Helga doesn't even get a voice line. Whatever. Good luck, everybody. Don't go to our room. Tactician's room. Can't fall asleep. 
Maybe a drink will do the trick. What kind of example are you setting, Lady Eleanor? We should go to sleep so we'll be ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow. I wonder if I'll see Cray tomorrow. Long ago, he used to be my subordinate. A tactician and an assistant in the service of the Scarlet Moon Empire. But out of the blue, he attacked the nobles of Scarlet Moon. How many years has it been since then? <sighs> I had no idea you should hurry up and go to sleep. Wow. Wow, boy, Dana. Anyway, we'll say I had no idea. Big wow, chat. Back then, something definitely happened to Cray. He suddenly exchanged his left hand with a steel one. Even worse, Cray used his son as a pawn and let him die. I'm positive that something triggered his rebellion. But no matter how much I questioned him, he never answered. In the end, he was expelled, and I was discharged. He was a good kid, too. But now, I regret my being unable to save him. Lady Eleanor, would you like some more? So that's probably the biggest part of characterization we've seen with her in general. Let's go to the king's room. Hmm? What's wrong? You can't sleep, huh? In that case, let me tell you a little story. The rune you now hold? It was summoned from the ruins of the kingdom 15 years ago by the Queen of Obel. She was my wife. We lived normal lives, resisting the rune's lure. Then one day we were attacked by pirates. Our kids were on the ship too. Flair and her younger brother, they were just newborns. My lady died saving them. She defeated the pirates, but our ship sustained heavy damage. My youngest went missing. If he were alive, he would be about your age now. Just a couple more years and I might have shared a drink with him. Oh, but make no mistake. I haven't supported you in an attempt to replace my lost son. It's not that at all. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm going to sleep now. You should too. Be ready for tomorrow. That's your bedtime, young lady. I mean, it's kind of how we treated her. Okay, right, so we'll continue to go floor to floor. Do I have any money left, by the way? Not a lot. I guess I could sell items just for healing items. Oh, we have a statue of ourselves? That's just kind of creepy. Oh, right, the window sets. That is a choice that I'm gonna make. <laughs> I guess these are all the game sounds. I'm missing one. Shake your head, chat. I'm so close. I figured chat would appreciate the dialogue change. No, I don't want to play your dumb dice game, Gunter. We're looking for cutscenes. No, I don't want to play your mini games. No, I'm not in the mood. They really she gets a cutscene? Really? Let's do our best tomorrow. We just can't lose. We just can't. So, um, 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 this is a present from us. 
We worked really hard to make it, so take good care of it, okay? <laughs> That was certainly a cutscene. I acquired an item. Question mark. Is it equipable? Is that all it does? Gives 10 luck. <sighs> I mean, I'm really not really surprised, to be real with you. What's <laughs> down here before you die? <laughs> the <laughs> from them is pretty is pretty bad. Alright. I guess I'll sell whatever I don't need and just buy healing items. I'd really prefer not to game over by not having healing items. It'd be a really stupid way to lose. I think chat would agree. And now I can get defense up, which might be relevant. Oh wait, can you not sell items in this game? Or do I need the shop for I guess I need the shop for that. That kinda sucks. Well, I mean, I'm at least at 39 Mega Medicines. This is gonna be interesting. I forgot that we can actually do a... It, I never thought about that until just now. So we're in a game where we can't just sell in our own castle. That's kind of annoying. Fine, we'll play the lottery just for you, for old time's sake. There we go, one extra medicine chat. Because keep in mind, I have to potentially go all the way to the end with this team, the attachment team, without any source of healing outside of our medicines. So getting another 20 of each might actually be relevant. I'm I'm thinking we're probably going to use between 8 and 16 mega medicines with just them. So I'm hoping the rest will carry us to the end of the game, or I'm going to be very sad. Uh, I guess I could talk to these people. Ornament room. But there's, there's no, there's nothing in there. Was she supposed to do something previously? We'll have to check her later. How do I still have an empty room on the ship? Cat meows. My brain hurts, chat. We have all the stars. How are rooms empty? I like the beautiful red rose, but I think it's funnier we put the great elven tree here. Feels really disrespectful. That is certainly an angel statue, I guess. I actually don't want to take a bath, but there was not an option to cancel. Oh wait, Chifu's actually getting a dialogue? Wait, we we did we somehow stumble on an actual dialogue? <laughs> I just chose the most random team. I guess I'll read it. We sure worked up a, a good sweat today, Meow. He spoke immediately. I thought the dialogue was done. Oh, that's awkward. I think I'm gonna dot 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 him. Oh, well, yeah, after all, we are taking a bath right now. Not sure what he asked. Darn. I guess I got a secret cutscene with the bat. Question mark. But see, that's one of those things where I didn't press anything, but because it was hanging there for so long, I thought it wanted me to advance something. So after like six seconds, I pressed the button, but then on that exact press, it advanced the dialogue. Like, I, go figure, chat. I, I don't, you know, <laughs> they, they did things. Oh, all she does is sell medicines? What's the point of that? Yeah, we needed Yggdrasil. I don't really super care about what these people have to say. I'm just looking for a cutscene. We'll move on. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't care about Gary and Eva. Spoilers. 
at Adario's room. So I'm guessing we're almost out of cutscenes. In theory... Something if you live like that too. I'm sure you will, only you can make that decision. We'll say you'll live a long life, Ted. I'm sure that won't be a terrible lie. Yeah, you're right, someday. Or Ted chat, we just lied to him. Weirdly, he got extra special dialogue. Everybody else just kind of got like one sentence. Katarina gets a cutscene. So, tomorrow's battle will be the decisive one. You become your own man. I'm sure Commander Glenn would be proud. Oh, oh that was it. Oh. Well, <laughs> can't say I didn't try, chat. Okay, so if something happens tomorrow, if there's anything I could do, please tell me. Allow me to support you in this endeavor. After all, I also have a connection to the Rune of Punishment. I'm sure that my husband would have wanted it that way. Wait, why are we getting this cutscene? What? Here we go! Yeah! Uh. Come and get me! <laughs> so random, what? Tomorrow we're gonna show them just what we're made of. You hear me? Apparently I triggered a series of cutscenes even though I just talked to these people. Yes, sir. Just don't die on me. Got that? Yes, sir. And if I should die, you'll go back to your mom. Yes, sir. Wait a minute. You found my mother? Oh, well, uh, actually, uh, oh, enough of this depressing talk. We're gonna sleep and that's final. Yes, sir. What, <laughs> why did those cuts see, what? Sweet it in. What was that? Anyway, I guess I'll go to the library. I'm assuming Oleg is the person we need to talk to to fill out the library. But we can't do so now. We'll <laughs> want to go backwards. This one is special. It was pretty special. Oh no, not the confession room. There's nothing of interest in the confession room. We're leaving. Well, actually. So I'll, I'll choose to not forgive them, chat, if it forces us to do it. Oh no, we can't even do it anymore, it's over. Good, I didn't want to do it anyway. And finally, we're gonna go to the bottom floor. I've said to visit him, so maybe there's something I could do now. Super happy with the giant sword. Oh, I could level up my party more if I wanted to. Oh, it got rid of my party again. Wow. Remember, chat, when I selected my entire party? Remember when it just decided to take it away, like, every time that happens? I did it in the wrong order, but it's okay. It's the last time we'll do that. Hello, cutscene. Things should come to a close soon, but please... Yes.
Do not worry. Now's not my time to die. Since I volunteered to fight this battle against you, I'm prepared for any consequences I may face. It's your decision. Live your life however you see fit. There's more to this world than Kuluk, you know. Father... <sighs> In order to thrive, you must survive. I was wondering why Colton wasn't angry. Yes, sir. A relative, apparently. Big reveal, shock, gas, question mark. So it's finally time to show the strength of Disney. Thank you, Losang. Worth it, chat. I didn't even try ever talking to Colton. <laughs> I kind of forgot he was down here, to be honest. Oh. 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 I'm so, so busy. Mr. Tove, should you be wasting your time here like this? <laughs> Everything's ready on my end. Then would you please help me out? Sorry, but working with rune cannons is not my expertise. Oh, oh, yeah. Such a busy, busy day. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. That was a special cutscene too. Canvas is pretty nice. I might get make good use of it. Edit over canvases. I want to modify the ship. You know what? We'll go with black sails. We can customize all the ships. Interesting. So I can feed it points to improve our shooting distance by one. Maybe this will actually be relevant in the final battle chat so that I can attack without getting counterattacked. This would actually break any stalemate of the final naval battle. Yeah, apparently I just made it have black sails. Go on piratey. So, I don't think that would have really helped us given the naval battles prior to this point were pretty easy. Who knows, maybe it'll make a difference in the final one. You strong won't lose. Thank you, gal. I guess it's time to rest. I didn't really see snow anywhere. But I'm assuming he'll be waiting for us in our bedroom, because nobody can just let us sleep in peace. Let's be real, chat. Well, it's finally time, isn't it? All the chat. My strength is yours to wield. Use it as you see fit. <sighs> Though it may not be very much. Just wanted to let you know that. Well, good night. Good night, Snow. We're probably going to get awoken by Lechnet or whatever her name was because she also likes to be a bedroom stalker. She also cannot help herself. Like every Sweek in a game, she doesn't know what boundaries are. I swear, chat. Game, please. Uh, of course. Strength question mark. He's technically really good. It's just we didn't bother leveling him. Again, I'm not really surprised this has happened. This happened in Sweet in 2. <sighs> Sweet in 3. A little bit of Sweet in 4, apparently. The trial of the rune will end. The time for atonement shall pass. The time for forgiveness shall begin. That is your destiny, and the destinies of the 108 who have gathered around you. Let it go. 
the rune will certainly wander throughout the world, harvesting lives once again. Where the rune is headed from here on, unfortunately, I still do not know the answer to that. Also, what happened to her outfit? It looks like she's like hunching her shoulders up. What? That I think it was supposed to be a hood, but it it looks like somebody like purposely raising their shoulders up to their chin. It looked very odd on her. Put it that way. Very bizarre. Anyway, let's save so I don't have to sit through that again. <laughs> Maybe they need to go to the canonical reason, according to Chris, as to why they need to go to bed is because they never get a proper sleep. It's people keep breaking into the room and waking them. I mean, that's true. It's important to try to sleep when you can. Commenting on his strength is ours to use, but he's weak. We, we leveled him a bit. I don't think he's our weakest party member anymore. When we first got him, even then he wasn't the weakest recruit character. That honor belongs to Jewel. Alright, so I, I just want to advance the plot. Come on, game. Let's get on with it. Enough walking. What what do you want me to do? I went to bed. guess I go to the deck. I mean, like, <laughs> I'm just kind of like, where is the plot? <laughs> Do you know what I mean, chat? It's not like, it's not like I'm purposely avoiding something, but it's like, what do I need to do to get the game to advance? That's classic Sweek It In 2 territory right there. Finding the arbitrary plot trigger. There we go. I noticed I couldn't leave the ship with anchor or whatever. Was it a good idea, letting Eleanor go and all? Well, um, or it's hard to say. We'll say it's hard to say. Versus well, um. Sorry, that was a silly question. King, I don't know why we're talking to you. You're really not really relevant anymore. You were relevant in the first, like, quarter of the game, but you haven't been relevant for a while. I'm so sorry. If what Eleanor said was right, the fog should clear shortly. Now let's get ready. I don't remember her talking about the fog, but sure. Okay, let's go. What do we do with this boat? Let's hide it in the rocks. The fog will clear in a, a little bit, so we'll need to hide too. I guess I could just play as Eleanor and judge the chat by making her just stare at the camera. Flash the screen. So, now here's a dilemma. If both parties are going to the final dungeon, if I pick up an item with this team, does that mean I can't get it with the other team? Because in which case I don't want to pick up anything, unless it's the final team. I feel like that would be the case. We could try it on something random. Dot, dot, dot. Or maybe they share the items but not their equipment, because I wouldn't be able to get them back. Hmm. Maybe that's how it works. This fog is really supposed to clear up soon? Of course. Lady Eleanor said so. I wonder how she predicted it. I would like for her to teach me how to read the skies sometime. After me, I am to be taught first. Why? It would be a waste of time teaching you. Besides, do you even have the aptitude for it? Wh what is that supposed to mean? She got burned, chat. Uh, the decoy fleet has been sent towards Elil. 
It's finally time. Guessing that we're, we took the enemy ships and are using them to approach to get the cannon to fire. I'm guessing that's what's happening right now. So the boats are just going to get blown up. Put it on cooldown. Wonder how much different that cutscene would have been if I recruited basically nobody. Reporting in. We have yet to receive any word from the second fleet. We fear all those ships may have been... Uh, understood. Thank you. Captain, a fleet is approaching us. It appears to be the enemy. Prepare for battle. Be aware of the rune cannon's firing range and draw the enemy close. Confirm the fleet's identity. Yes, sir. Goodbye, decoy ships. To think the second fleet was annihilated so easily. The first fleet has moved outside the firing range and is prepared for battle. Captain, there's a suspicious fleet in front of us. They're in range. They're planning to approach using the fog as cover. Let's stop them. Prepare to fire. We have not yet confirmed the fleet's identity. It's not one of our own. Split-second decision could cost us our lives. I'll take full responsibility for this. Fire! Yes, sir. Soon, they fired without confirming the opponent. Listen, everyone. Advance straight ahead. Parts of the enemy's main force might have survived. If there are any remaining ships, we'll finish them off. How much longer until the room cannon can fire again? Our estimate is about two hours. There's not much time to spare. We must defeat the first fleet before then. The enemy's numbers are staggering. There's a strong possibility that what we hit earlier was a decoy. Men, let's go. So again, there's only so many bosses left, right? Troy, Cray, Eldritch Abomination. I mean, that's only three bosses, Chad, unless there's a surprise encounter somewhere in there. Final engagement. First Kuluk fleet versus the Disney. Destroy the first Kuluk fleet. Oh no, he's got four cannons. What a cheater. Lady Eleanor, I will do my best just as... Just as Lady Eleanor bade me to. Why did you say Lady Eleanor and then just refer to her? Okay, whatever, that just doesn't make a lot of sense. Everyone, please listen to me carefully. The enemy's flagship runes are, huh? Fire, wind, earth, and water. They have virtually no weakness. There are two other enemy ships. The rune shells are wind and earth, and lightning and water. Before we set up, it seems we should make our decisions after confirming our opponent's runes. At any rate, let's do our best. We can do more than give it our all. Uh, can I just look at the map? Yeah, we can do this. So, wind and earth. So let's gear the ship to deal with wind and earth. It's 
So they already do. I don't think I need to change anything here at all. So that's convenient. The same setup I had last time beats that side. Now I need lightning and water, so I just need a lightning user. Oh, we have another ship here. Interesting. Brand new ship. Wait, which element? Wait, which element does the other guy not have at all? Oh, he doesn't have lightning. Interesting. I think I definitely want range plus one over the other choices. Oof, we have, like, nothing good. Sorry, I'm gonna check again. The lightning just beats that straight up, so I need something that can kind of deal with fire, maybe? As my backup? It'd be pretty stupid to not get the true end, because these things die, unfortunately. Give him Conrad or somebody. Oh my gosh. Alright, we need we need underlings immediately. I wanna make sure they don't die, so we're gonna get... Oh, that's all they have? Oh, that's not good. Uh, let's give them random characters. There you go, Helga. Protect the ship. Oh, he's got range plus two. Interesting. So I basically just want an Earth user here to balance things out a little. Snow is water. Oh, snow. I'm pretty much not going to use any of the other people's stuff. I don't think it really matters. I don't really have strong alternative melee characters. I mean, I guess I could bring in a Kagi just for more health. Wish me luck, I guess, chat. So, this ship actually has a range of 5, which is kind of nasty. So if I attack with Ted, this might actually do a lot of damage. Wow, our health totals suck compared to the enemies, chat. This is not good. Attacking us. Oh, I don't have a wind. This is awkward. I guess I'll attack with Jean. Ugh. I don't actually have anything to counter the enemy. That's so awkward. Uh, this one's next. I want to poke the enemy with this one, if at all possible. There we go. I want to attack out of range with this one, if possible. This should do a lot of damage, because it's G. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to stalemate this guy with lightning. This is fine. We can't possibly lose this. So we've already checkmated him. Do Maxine for damage. We've already greatly injured their side one, which is going to give us problems. In fact, we killed it instantly. Ooh, I didn't think I was in range there. That sucks. Please don't kill our other ship. 
Please don't kill. Okay, we didn't die, but it's not looking good. Snipe him pretty easily there. Uh, this is bad. I think we die here. I hope this doesn't result in a bad ending because I think we're going to lose the ship. Hopefully that's not a dead character. That seems kind of annoying. I hope. As I said before, I really don't know. I've not really lost characters before in this. Ooh. We traded blows. That's not what I want to see. That is super not what I want to see. Come here, Maxine. Yeah, now I'm curious if they could die. I hope they can't? Question mark? And I'll just keep playing. I mean, I I got the 108. I guess I'll know later. Oh, now we just got to attack twice? Well, the game just let us win randomly. I don't know why we outsped them so hard there. I got a 2-1 to one on that one. GG. Everyone, we've done it! Oh, it just awkwardly transitions back to this. Thanks, game. We got Speedy Eleanor chat. All right, so I'm gonna pick up items, but I guess not equip them. Then the Mega Medicine, nice. That was our first real ship death. I guess if I had given a different element on the one in the middle, they would have been fine. But I wasn't expecting them to go so hard towards that one. I thought they were going to go towards the one that was closer to them. So I guess the AI just knew I had less health or something. Chifu says, I was expecting a lot more people to be here. Just like I thought. Chifu question mark question marks. Vicky goes, huh? Guessing they're all dead. Well, apparently not. Never mind. Spoke too soon. Uh, we'll auto battle here. Or we'll do this actually. Dicky's damage is terrible. That's kind of annoying. That's gonna cost four medicine. But hey, at least we have two characters constantly healing. We're actually... I have the doctor with them, so they might be full health. Nice, they're full health. Okay, so we're gonna look for treasure, I guess. But we can't dwaddle too long, or else we'll be in like a million encounters. Our goal is just to find, I guess, the boss and beat the game. Well, excuse me, bosses, plural. Vicky's damage is so bad. Ooh, she took a lot there. Good crit. That's going to require a single medicine for Vicky. Actually, the healing here is pretty good. Hmm, maybe we'll be fine. Oh, there's so many places for potential treasure. Speaking of which... No! I don't want to fight a boss! No! Not with this team! 
Can I retreat? And release. Yeah, we are we are not met. Listen, we'll come back. We'll come back for that. We are not fighting a boss with this team. It's, it's not happening. Thankfully, it was low enough level that I could auto run because that would have been dreadful garbage. Stairs, it's locked. Okay. Maybe that's where the other party comes from. Encounter rate, please. I guess it really wants to make sure I'm leveled. But it's like, nah, I, le I leveled enough getting here. That's fine. So again, we'll go fight that later. I want to verify one thing before I go further. We just seem to be going upwards repeatedly. We're on the fourth floor. I feel like I missed some treasure, but we'll we'll probably clean it up with the other team. is no it cheap is really close to leveling next herbs mega medicine fortune orb hmm. i don't get what the point of a fortune orb this late in the game would be did, did i get attacked repositioning in front of the door seriously <laughs> right chat seriously this happened There's not a save point before the boss battle. Oh no, chat. What? Why are you here? Answer me! Long time no see. I heard rumors about you, and I just had to find out for myself if they were true. I see. So it uh -oh. was you all along, We may be in trouble. It? You were the one who spread the information about the Scarlet Moon army breaking through our northern border. You're quite right. That, in fact, was me. But I'll have you know, that information wasn't false. <laughs> so, you used your family in your homeland. Your skills in manipulation haven't faded in the least. <laughs> oh no, not the character I thought was already dead. <sighs> His left hand, it's poisonous. Be careful, please. How ridiculous. A small time crook trying to pass himself off as virtuous. Oh, enough with this ridiculous show. Oh yeah, I guess we're fighting Cray. No retreat. Wish me luck, Chan. Two thousand to one foe. That sounds like a good choice. Get another nine hundred down. That does very little damage. Oh no, how much? And he outspe- How did he outspeed Kate? Game, please. Well, this sucks. How much is this gonna do? Only 600. Uh oh. We are in big trouble now. That was very bad damage. Uh, well. What can I do for more damage? I guess just earthquakes gonna try blitzing him. I'm assuming we have to kill him. Ooh, he seems to be taking way less damage. This is not good. 
we only did 236. Oh no, this is gonna take forever. I'm getting punished for not one-shotting chat. Oh boy. My work is cut out for me. I'm just gonna conserve magic. I think he's gonna do nothing. I might as well just make her heal every turn. See, that AoE actually really doesn't impact the mages as much as it impacts characters like Vicky. Ooh, I guess I could just use healing on. If I really wanted to. Yeah. Let's use some Mega Medicine instead. Earthquake at least did some damage. I think our lo lower level spells are too weak. Welcome back, Murphy. We're fighting a boss where I did not one-shot it, so I think we're gonna be here a while. The downside of, uh, random party. If you don't go in optimal, the game is gonna punish. Is there something I could do to speed this up slightly? I still have mushrooms for the final boss, so I don't want to use those. I guess I'll just keep using Soaring Bolt. And I'll just keep attacking. Unless there's something I could do with this. I don't have any status ailments. I don't think its attack that he's using is considered magic. Wait, did his shield wear off? It did. Oh, I could have just waited out the shield. That sucks. And then he reapplied it. Okay, so it, it was only down for a turn, and she's too slow to attack. So Vicky's low speed actually is super bad in this battle. But hey, on the plus side, Chipu is Fury, so Chipu should actually do some damage. So Vicky definitely not recommended for this boss for people playing at home. Uh, I'm actually gonna Mega Medicine her just in case. Now I'm really glad I have a melee character, because I'm not able to kill this thing with spells. Attacked her again, but she heals a lot per turn, so her health regen is actually kind of destroying the boss, not gonna lie. Uh, her damage is so bad, I should still use magic. Regular attack. Another regular attack. Vicky remains useless as ever. Yeah, unfortunately, she's really not good this fight. She might have been better on the final boss, maybe, if the final boss doesn't have this kind of gimmick. You can see, she was not able to use her magic score despite all that effort put in. Well, I was thinking I was going to use some healing items. Fortunately, we're not hemorrhaging healing items. We actually have, like, a decent amount of regen on the team. Like, a surprisingly decent amount of regen. Maybe this will be good enough. And their constant health regen is put them outside of kill range, I think. Ooh, full damage. There we go. It could have been worse. He's only worth a thousand much? Wow, okay. Bad boss reward chat. Oh, oh, we just let him walk away? What do you mean he escaped? <laughs> it's not even like he did like a smoke bomb. He just walked away. Wow. So we can implore. The definition of escape there is extremely loose. Okay, back to the rendezvous point. I can handle things here. We'll be okay. Don't you think Cray will come back? I just kind of slapped him and let him run. Of course he's going to come back. Yeah, we, he ran away while we stood there in disbelief that he's running away. Exactly. Yeah, we'll never catch him now, chat. He's got other places to go. I've got some ideas where. More importantly, I want you to secure a safe return path. Go on, take Ramada with you. Okay, got it. We'll wait below.
It's true. It is the same people that walked into a jail. That is true. Now, that'll do it for this one. All that's left is... If she dies to Cray, I'm going to get so mad. I mean, our team is so stupid. Just let her be there. I'll be here. If you need anything, please let me know right away. I plan to never talk to you, Agnes. This is where Graham Cray is. The man who decimated our village. Oh. I, I forgot you had a beef with him, but I didn't select you. But thanks? <laughs> right, chat? Thanks, I guess. Wait, why do I have to select the party again? Come on. <laughs> Sweeken in four. What was the point of selecting the main party if you're just gonna remove it with the only other time I'm gonna play with the main party? Seriously? You removed it not once, but twice, but three times in a row? <sighs> We're gonna talk about this in the review. I'm like, thanks, game. I literally have selected this party like at least four times at this point, and it removed at least one more time. Stupid. Anyway, I guess I'll pick, uh... I guess I could go for treasure. I, hate it. I, hate it. I do hate it. It's very stupid. Just don't do that to me, game. Don't take away my party members arbitrarily. I talked to her by accident. Apparently she's the party member swapper. Okay, so we started up here. So I guess all we do is just go to the top. So, oh, we never tried going down the stairs, I think. The important thing, chat, is I chose to keep the strike rune and I was rewarded with easy combat. What a what a breath of fresh air. Wait, does that mean I could just slash kill the hairball thing? We never went down here with the other team. Wow, chat, I no longer have to worry about resources. I apparently brought the best rune. So depending on the enemies, I just don't even battle them at all. Okay. Game, please. Okay, so we know there's only four stories. There might be something more we have to do later. Yeah, okay, so some of the battles we could just auto-end. I saw a treasure chest in there. We took the Cape of Darkness from a dead man. Take that as you will. That is a lot of magic defense. Oh, we could give it... Chat, we could give it to Jean. Chat, okay. I mean, she's already really good, so... I mean, if you insist... So, free upgrade for her. That's nice. Her defense is lower because she has the magician thing on. Speaking of which, if I auto battle, how much damage am I doing here? 700 plus for the protagonist? Oh, yeah. We can afford to auto battle a few times. Look at that damage, chat. Almost 900. Oof. Just imagine how gross that would be with, like, Lady Kika. Just imagine. Hero's helmet. I actually never got the pirate boots, so this might be worth it. I'd lose one attack, but I gain magic defense, speed, luck, magic. I think I take this trade. Unless it could go to somebody else. No. Uh, yeah, I lose one damage, but I get all the other more important things like luck. Okay. I'd like to crit more randomly. Yes, please. A small upgrade for the Protag. Although, if I had the Pirate King boots, I would not have done that. EDK zero. I think so. That poor enemy chat. You know he's done. Just He's not going to get a turn. So thank you, Rune. You saved me a whole bunch of medicines. Speaking of beginning medicines. 
Uh, so we're gonna check each of the floors. Maybe there's just a chest hidden in every floor. Game, please. <laughs> right, chat? Game, please. I mean, as I said before, at least I get guaranteed kills. I don't think I'll level at this rate because the XP here kind of sucks. Which is kind of sad to say that the XP is just that bad. Alright, so there's the hairball. Our party level is insane, so I got a question here. Oh, we can't just auto-kill it. I wanted to know. Um, do I even need to do anything? Can I just attack it? Oh, it actually went first? How did it outspeed me? Monstrous chat. I mean, at this rate, it should die. Oh. Let's kill one of our party members arbitrarily. Thanks, game. Hmm. I just try to drain it for health. I don't think losing one of those will make a big difference. Oh, I forgot how tanky this thing is. Is it really going to make me burn spells? I think it is. Maxine's dead. Rip Maxine. Uh, I might be in trouble here. I don't think I can revive. Oh, is this going to kill Jean? That's a lot of damage. Oh, why is this randomly so tough? Please die. Thank you, stupid boss fight. Giant bird's feather, 10,000 potch. What was it even guarding? Chaos shield? I can't even use that, right? Pointless. Well, I'm glad I didn't burn any magic, just in case we can't recover our slots. Anyway, goodbye, your medicines. Pretty sure I can't use that, right? <laughs> Literally useless. <laughs> wow. Oh, game, come on. I just, I was just in a boss battle. Please reset your encounter rate. That's just absurd. Uh, at least we can kill this group. <sighs> I'm guessing I should be able to go back to my ship, given the amount of unidentified items he gives me. Otherwise, it just seems really cruel. So that's still locked. Can't do anything there. So I don't think I checked the third floor very well, so let's check the third floor. Oh my gosh, game, please. <laughs> that was like a fraction, like a, a half, half a fraction, like a like quarter, maybe it's an eighth. An eighth of a step, and I got in there. Ridiculous. Alright, so this is the room we saw them in. Dear Larry Murphy, hope you, uh, have an okay day at work. And we're gonna say no to that. Goddess robe. Is that an upgrade for Jean or Maxine? Reese's magic attack. But it's. But it. But it doesn't. That. Can Ted wear it? No. I wear it? I can wear the Great Earth Armor. So this actually doesn't look like an upgrade for me, question mark. <laughs> right, chat? Like, I guess it's not. It says it does, but it doesn't impact our stats. Let me check this thing out real quick, chat. 
Like, we got the ivory robe a while ago, and you would have thought that would have been a bit better in stats. Oh, it adds a flat... Oh, it doesn't add to the stat, it's just a percent multiplier. Which, again, would have been nice to know. We'll give it to Maxine. Apparently, it's just 20% extra magic attack in general. And 20% magic defense. I love everybody's magic. 191, 185, 302, then 128. <laughs> just... Poor Protag. Well, I mean, I guess that's better than what she had before. I'm assuming it's better than what she had before. Let's verify. Again, these are things that are really not clear from the UI. Apparently, it just adds a flat bonus and nothing else. We're not missing out there. But hey, Maxine's spell damage went up. That could be relevant for the final battle. I mean, too bad I have Magic Robe on already, so I have no reason to ever do that with Jean. She's got the complete set, so why ruin it? Okay. So, I think we're good to go. Is there really nowhere to rest or do anything? <laughs> right, chat? Do I really have to go through this whole dungeon with no healing? Is it like classic sweetening? What a weird feeling. There's a chest. Game, please. <laughs> Game? I took like five steps that time. Knock it off. No. Escape failed. <laughs> Oh, that's what her rune does? Oh, see chat, we finally figured out what it does. It makes enemies block for her. Oh. Interesting. I'm sure that's happened probably once before and I just didn't notice. Is he really using magic on me? Wow. That is so disrespectful. I was doing that because I didn't want to fail retreating again, but then the game is like, oh. That's a lot of damage. I guess I'll medicine up because I'm not seeing an ability to heal myself. Rest in peace all the medicines. I actually used a pretty high number of you before the final fight, so I feel mostly justified in my number. We used over 30 so far, we haven't reached the boss yet. in the office. Oh, I'm sorry. We, we can sleep in the office. Okay, for future reference. Stair room key. Oh, you're gonna make me go all the way back to the second floor. But then where did Eleanor go if we had to get the key to do this? Oh, game. How did Cray even get to where he just went? Shake your head, chat. <laughs> chat plot hole. How did they even get there? leaving his key around. I think that was on the second story. But yeah, we have to be really close to the final boss. So what what hideous thing do you think he's going to reveal, Chad? Is he going to turn into the Eldritch Abomination? What are your feelings? I mean, let's, let's be real. We're fighting some, like, multi-story nonsense. The question is, like, what is it? In two, it was a wolf. In three, it was many dragons. Goodbye. And then a combination of all the true runes. Bye. Right. Now we could go through here. Treasure chest. Come on, game. At least I'm succeeding some of my retreats. So I feel like this is still working for me, even if it's not all of them. Magic canceler. Isn't that that really OP one that just stops you from taking damage once? I might put that on Gene, honestly. Thinking about it. Yeah, let's put it on Gene. I saw we could make that a while ago, but I never got the components for it. 
To be fair, not many things seem to be using magic, but I'm assuming the final boss will use magic. And or the rune cannon is alive, and that's secretly where all the shells come from. It's from this weird being, the super cannon. That's why it needs to recharge. But we'll see, I guess. So I guess the sparkles around her, the magic canceler. We'll see if it even plays any role at all in the final battle. Yeah, this is indeed still stairs. Encounter raid. I feel like fans of Final Fantasy VII must be so happy to see more staircases. We're climbing the Shinra building, apparently. Although, I don't think we're going to find Sephiroth at the top. Chat's going to guess the Sea Serpent. That seems like it should be it, but... Actually, Chad, is... is Are we going to... Hold on, hold on, Chad, hold on. Sea Serpent would make sense. I'm going to go... Every game is Valkyrie profile in East, and we're going to fight a giant tree for no reason. I'm going to go for giant tree, Chad. Just... I feel like we're overdue. We didn't fight the Mr. Holly boss like we did in 3. I think the game owes us. Oh, new enemy? What is this? Rain of Light? Oh, it's, maybe it's a plant monster. Uh, can I use some low-end magic to kill stuff? Probably not. Make sure it's your next guess. I mean, it's a good guess. It crit me? That is so rude. Please die. Thank you. Counter crit. Unfortunately, our melee attacks do no damage. So I could have upgraded their weapons a little more. Maxine's damage might have been more relevant. Ted's, I think, is okay. Oh, that actually level leveled us? Oh. How unexpected, chat. I got a real level up here. Gene got more powerful, if you can even imagine it. Like, okay. Right, chat? Like, pff, that's whatever. If you want her to be stronger. So Ted, I think, just gained new spells. I don't think it's worth going all the way out. How many times do I think I'm gonna need Black Shadow? I would hope that... I would hope the fight would be over before I use nine spells. I'm just saying, chat. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say if I'm not done in nine turns, something horrible will happen and I deserve to lose. Because keep in mind, I'm going to be possibly just nuking the boss every turn. Unless it does something that stops me from doing it. I guess we'll see. Um, This kind of always seems worth fighting. Because I could just randomly level again. Who knows, maybe the extra 10 health will make a difference. Why do I keep getting crit? <laughs> Wounded. Please don't kill the protagonist. We counter crit, that felt fair. Wow, protagonist level, gene level. Okay, we're getting a little extra health. How are we looking stat-wise? No extra... Well, one extra spell, I think. She's looking pretty tanky. 3-3-3. Three, three, three. That's almost at 400 health. So we'll do fights on the way up. Oh, there's the final save of the game, probably. Let's save there. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's fight in front of the final save of the game. So at least I can say I'm at least leveled before this. So I guess I didn't need to level to get this team there, which is interesting. Um, any low-end magic I'm gonna get rid of? Like, how realistically am I gonna be using Thunder Runner? Probably not at all.
Wow, that didn't kill him on the end? That's crazy. Again, I'm gonna be using a mushroom at some point. So spreading out the levels of spells that I use is not a bad idea. Die via auto battle, please. Nice damage. Maxine leveling, Ted leveling. Ted almost at 400 HP. Again, he'll end up probably being the biggest tank of the group. Fortunately, no new level 3 slots. But hey, almost 200 magic. It's kind of nice. We'll save right before the final boss. Let's see, chat. Will those two levels... Well, actually, I should heal up. Will those two levels make a difference? Time to find out, chat. Uh-oh, chat. It's looking tree-shaped. So, you've returned, O oh, Rune of Punishment. Return question mark or dot dot dot? We'll say return question mark. The Rune's memories, among them, did you see a child? Said he wanted some bread. I refuse to answer your questions. Memories? What memories? <laughs> wow. We're, we're going to say that he said he wanted some bread. Let, let's try to advance the plot a little. Bread. Wonderful. I too would like to hold the rune of punishment once more and play with those sweet memories. <laughs> Long ago, that rune chose us. It didn't choose you. This country must grow stronger. The islands, your lives, you exist only to fulfill our destiny, as does the rune. When it comes to a battle of wills, I have no doubt that mine shall prevail against yours. He's making the cherry blossoms grow. Oh wait, wrong game. Uh, one element for each thing of the runes. I'm not liking this. But the question is, does it get magic resistance? Also, I just realized we have to sit through this cutscene every time I die. Oh my gosh, please let me run shot this boss. I don't want to sit through this minute long cutscene or two minutes. Okay, the stakes are on chat. I really don't want to sit through this again. We're gonna believe. Yig Dragsil. See, plants are dragons. It comes full circle. It makes sense now. Hello, giant tree. I have Maxine to nuke this thing, and we're just gonna do a nice little 300 damage to all. A lot of damage. That did a, a whole ton to Jean, but I got bad news for the boss. Oh, it canceled the magic, so she lives. Nice. Magic canceler worked. Kill its little followers. 3,000? Wow. That was a lot of damage. It didn't die though, which is a little concerning. I could do another super attack. 
Let's make a medicine gene. Wait, I didn't go before the monster? Oh, that's not good. Gene's probably dead. That sucks. Oh, wait. The extra levels matter? The extra levels matter? Never mind, GG. Oh, she dodged at the counter attack? Gene put it in the work, chat. She should have died. 100% should have died, but oh well, never punished. Oh, we killed those things. So we're just going to heal everybody. And we're going to... I should know what we could do. Let's rush attack. Get some free damage. Okay, so I'm gonna do... Maybe just a normal attack. Dean is going to Furious Blow. She is going to... Actually, probably just heal. Do something like this. Alright, so revive things, which is fine. Oh, I crit it for like 2,000? Two, nice. Another 1k. So what I should do here is, if it's gonna spend another turn summoning, I'm just gonna attack it normally. And we're gonna go kind of all out on this. Get an explosion going. I wasn't sure if it was going to summon something or not first. It hit Gene for a little bit of damage, but I don't care about that. Oh, it's actually getting to attack? That's not good. Or is it just making a new one? Oh no, it's doing damage. Okay, next turn I'll heal with our super spell. A little bit. Okay, we killed it. Wait. Wait, did I win? Wait, seriously? That was it? Uh oh. Damn, that wasn't even close. <laughs> Chat, oh. I didn't even use mushrooms. That's kind of sad. Oh no. Oh, that was that was by far the easiest we could in Final Boss. Uh, GG, I guess. I'll put the controller down. I mean, I'm just gonna say, after how annoying Suikoden in 3s was and Suikoden in 2s... Okay. I thought it was gonna have, like, another so 6,000 health. Accept me. Rune of punishment. You were once cut <laughs> off from this Dead body. already? Now, you do not wish to return to it again? It's dangerous here! Hurry up and run if you don't want to die! My controller is vibrating so much. See how the screen is shaking? It's going brrrr in my hands. It actually vibrated so much it disconnected the cord. <laughs> like, I'm not even joking. Stop vibrating! Stop! Ew, it's even vibrating in combat? Stop that. Oh my gosh, game please. You're gonna blow the vibrator on the controller. Like, can you hear it? Hear it? It's like still, it's still going. <laughs> I let it, I let it rest on the little, um, out filter thing briefly. I, I know. It, it's even in this transition chat, it's still vibrating. Oh, this 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 would be Tri's favorite game right now. Just imagine it never stops vibrating. It's still vibrating, by the way. It, it hasn't stopped. My hands are gonna go numb at this point. But I, yes, I'd like to return to the ship. Get me out of here. Stop vibrating. It's still vibrating. It's still vibrating. 
tweak it in. Thank you. Oh, it, it stopped only to start again when the ships collided. Thanks, game. Thanks. Oh. Oh, I forgot about you. That's true. We didn't fight you. Um. Oh, no. Is this a duel? Are you going to end the game with the duel? You monsters. You... you cannot see my intentions that is gross ew i don't want to go through that boss battle again i thought the game was over oh no come at me no regular attack Got so much health. Here I go. Uh, defend. <laughs> I'll settle this with the next move. Full power. Oh, we got him. Good call. He dot dot dotted me. I guess I'll just attack him. That's the safest option. Yield to my sword. Uh, is that attack or a special? I'm gonna lean towards. I'm gonna special. There we go. <laughs> Again, that was attack, I think. So we're getting there. I'll settle this with the next move. No, you won't. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> Just again, chat. I think it's over. <laughs> the pixel of HP. Please die. Also, glad I leveled my weapon, question mark. Could you imagine if I didn't, chat? How awful that would have been. Are you okay? Won't you come with us? This matter has been settled. Let's try to recruit him, chat. Won't you come with us? He probably will reject us. Don't further my defeat with your insults. I have no desire for your pity. This is how I hoped it would end. What regrets could I possibly have? Our conflict is over. The blood of the sea flows through my veins. I return to it now. Troy, be reborn. You, you could just take the boat. Troy, there, we didn't... meet again on this sea someday. We, we didn't destroy your rowboats, Troy. You could just get on the rowboat. Troy, you still have time. I mean, it, it was it was still above the... Uh, okay. So that your clamoring stops. By your leave, Captain. I suppose, I suppose it can't be helped. helped. Why are we flashbacking to the beginning of the game? It wasn't that dramatic. It was just kind of random. He's just like, oh, P.S., by the way, I'm here. <laughs> we just dueled him. You, you're that guy. Oh, he actually didn't recognize us, even though we look basically the same. He would have thought he would have recognized Chief Boo, to be honest. We're like, well, we could have helped him, but uh, I guess he's going down with the ship. There's Chipu's face. I... <laughs> it looks like he's smiling. Damn, that idiot, wasting his precious life. The cat mouth destroying the seriousness of the scene. It looked like he was squinting, like he's just kind of like getting a little smug, and then he got the full on happy face. <laughs> I don't think that was intended. But that's definitely how it came, came across. Wait, we didn't kill him? What's wrong with us? 
So, it's over. What now? I've got a question for you still. Wait, we left her behind? What's wrong what with us? I didn't answer. I have a good idea what it is you wish to ask me, but I will not respond. I leave you to speculate forever without answers. I can think of nothing that will harm you more. Humans are the fools of this world, and being a human, you are no exception. And neither am I. Good grief. Is that the best conclusion you could draw? Looks like I'm going to have to train you all over again from scratch. Like how they don't say our name. Like they say our name, but they don't vocalize the name. There's just silence when they shout, Boy Dana! I guess we're using the rune one last time. My true rune of punishment. Here we go. The fast walk. Thank you, game. Thank you for keeping the tone of the uh, the game consistent for me. Is this the queen? I guess. I guess that was the thing that happened. That's strange. The clothes aren't here. Okay, remember how I stole the clothes earlier, chat? Don't worry about it. The way I'm dressed now suits me just fine. That that's what it changes. I know you were very invested in the clothes lore. It's, a good it's truly a beautiful <laughs> so And now he'll be in a different outfit because I stole his king attire. <laughs>
There we go. So he would normally be in that other outfit we saw literally once this entire playthrough. It feels more fitting he never dresses up. On my honor as the King of Obel, I, Lino and Kuldus, declare the restoration of the Kingdom of Obel. Oh, did it really disconnect on the chat? That's unfortunate. Oh, man. Well, when this is over, this conflict, stream is over. tragic has presented us an opportunity to think about the islands and their citizens. I would like to take this chance now to propose the establishment of an island nation's federation. What say you? I hereby declare the founding of the island nation's federation. Anyway, so you didn't miss too much. He just declared themselves the Federation. That, that was literally it. Boy, Dana, after unleashing the devastating power of the true rune, dot, 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 Lino is the first chairman of the Island Nations Federation. He vows to establish peace throughout the land. Eleanor, one who can always find excellent wine where Eleanor used to live. Ted, be under 50 years from now that he meets his good beloved friend. That's confirmation of the timeline. Tal, returns to Vansreal, polishes his... Fishing skills and sure many's gone in, becomes a fisherman with them. Isaac, the Louis Island, which he had determined would be final residence, went on to become a landfill of flowers. Axel succeeds as island chief on an elf, beloved by the people. Selma, forgiven by the elven elder. Selma returns to the village with Paulo. Aldo, concerned about Ted, Aldo runs after him. That Aldo later passed away due to a mysterious accident. Reinbach, th through his brave, noble deeds, Reinbach returns to Middleport with his honor where he succeeds his father, Chipu. Rumor has it that he still travels the seas on his quest to become the world's greatest merchant. Paula acknowledged for her part in the liberation of the island nation. She's allowed to return to the elven village. Kika continued to live her life as a pirate. She would later meet her and on the high seas. Kenneth became vice commander of the Knights in Rosario, which is now in the Ben of Guyan. Ramada survives this terrible ordeal later establishes a prosperous trading company in the Kingdom of Oval. Travis, tired of the hustle and bustle of town life, leaves town to oversee the ruins of Oval. Snow, having been forgiven, Snow spends the rest of his life as just another citizen in Oval. Excuse me, in Roswell. Rachel still chases Cedric to this day. She swears that someday he'll pay for all his skip meals. Helga, thanks to her incredible strength and skill with an axe, she's recruited as a woodcutter in the King of Bobel. Cedric, some say the reason he has been eating and skipping meals all the time is because he wants his Rachel to chase him. Keen, claiming that he's grown tired of judging people, he retires to the middle port. Wow, that is not a lot of time to read that out loud, but I'll do my best. Gao, he heads deep into the woods where he goes on a wild rampage. Gretchen, she now teaches swordsmanship of the Marines Academy in Roswell. Conrad, he returns to the Marines Academy in Roswell where he becomes a world-renowned teacher of magic. <laughs> yeah, what about Katarina? Jewel, she lived in Roswell for a while but later returned for her hometown of Nadal. Katarina, returns to Roswell to reinstate the Knights and become the new commander. Lo Sang, after returning Mordo with Lohawk, they turn Mordo Island into a populous tourist spot. Chirmene, headed to Roswell to become a fishing instructor. He taught Tao how to fish and Al fishes with him daily. Lopong, having fallen in love with the King of Bobo, she parts ways with her brother's lives. To live there. We get so in days when the weather is good, he can be seen with the fishing line every so often this season near Nadal. Lohawk still helps out his older brother, but also brought himself a boat where he naps on his days off. Rocky takes after his late father becomes a kind fisherman. Ricky returned to her homeland of Nadal and lives a quiet life with Rocky. Django. The demise of the crate trading company, countless bandits roam the seas. Django enjoys catching them. Breck. Works very hard as a pirate and loves every second of it. He has taken a bath in months. Gross. Flair, she continues to patrol the seas, frightening all those around her. Tanya. Getting interested in the history of the island nations, she writes diligently to someday publish her findings. Jeremy, he joins Obel's army and eventually becomes an instructor of swordsmanship. Gareth, it is said that the ship engravings that Gareth made are popular with tourists who come to the Mortar Hot Spring Gene. As soon as the fighting ended, she disappeared without a trace, no one has seen her since. Lelon, she's returned to the deserted island together with her younger sisters. Gary left on a journey towards the Scarlet Moon Empire and searched for a place where he and his wife could live in peace. You don't remember half these guys? Pretty bad. 
I could be a good auction house seller, maybe. I mean, you gotta speak fast. It does not give you a lot of time to read it. Yeah, we're not even close, by the way, chat. Emma, next to Gary stands Emma with her placid smile. What a lame placement. Sigurd, as a loyal friend of Kika's, he vows to spend the rest of his life on the sea. Hervey, he supports K Kika along with Sigurd. Also, th those were probably the three lamest so far. Mickey, the story of Rambach he wrote would eventually become a collected tale of heroism. Nebukov departed on a journey determined to spread the skill of appraising. Federica, with her homeland in a state of turmoil, she returned to help resolve the tension between Scarlet Moon and the Kuluk. Now, he ran off and hid somewhere, saying something about hating sunlight. Bartholomew, in the search of battle, he le leaves on a journey toward the land of Felina. Helmet disappeared along with Colton. No one has seen them since. Pablo, he continues to research rune cannons, even though they have been eradicated from the world. Bang. Returning to Nay Island, he is now selling lottery tickets to humans who love to gamble. Lilu, and she returns to the deserted island with their sisters, but immediately leaves on a journey to search the others. What do you mean they're banished from all existence? Lilu, and returns to the deserted island with their sisters. They're also very lame. Together with Carrie, you establishes a free infirmary in the kingdom of Oval. Carrie becomes used assistant and continues to nurse people with a smile. Dario, settling Dalio up with his own operation, he dedicates the rest of his life in Kika's service. Malay. She joins, or she becomes a general in Noble's army and continues to do good deeds. Reinhold, apparently he is still being worked to death by Mitsuba because she knows his weaknesses. Warlock, after captured by a militant faction assisting he atoned for the crime of spreading rune cannons to the world, he dies. Akagi, together with Mizuki, accepts Lino and Kulte's offer to work as personal bodyguard. Mizuki, she ends up taking on the duty of guarding Lino and Kulte's with Akagi. Ugh, so many stars. Yeah, it's, it's a lot to read. Orna, and seems he never did meet the person he was searching for. Oof, Manu, cooped up with his own rumors have he has begun to work on some new project. Rene, saying something about the subterranean water channel, she leaves on a journey with her rods in hand. Gross. Hope she dies and is never found again. Amiria, having stopped wearing makeup, even her best friends apparently could not recognize her. What? Nico, day in, day out, he continues to patrol the sea in the name of Obel. Wendell, she studies assiduously, determined to prove that she knows more than Nico. Tav, under the orders from Lino and Cool Days, he's secretly building another ship. Phil, Said there is no exists no greater tailor than Phil. I don't think we ever talked to him. Eugene working up his courage, he finally heads back home. I legit don't think we ever talked to Phil, by the way. She is apparently teamed up with Reinhold Mitsuba, staging pseudo fraudulent duels. Leland, she returned to the deserted island with the older sisters, lame Natalie. After Louis Island had been rebuilt, her house boasted the most brilliant of window frames. Now he ran off and hit somewhere, saying something about hating dry places. Etienne, he continues to serve my box as he composed and perform enchanting songs that would be admired by all of Vicky. Right in the middle of a victory banquet, she mightily and flew away somewhere. Kate. She went on to travel to the capital of Kuluk, saying that she was going to look for her former planet. Charlemagne, by Rambach's nomination, he has granted noble status in Middleport. Rita, she's apparently designing a new game that will allow her to make more money. What? Oleg, he attempts to sell his clever new inventions, but no one takes him seriously. I don't blame them. Parole, he stays the king of Oboval, where he continues to write articles about the island nations. Deborah, she quietly sips tea at the inn in Middleport. I guess there are real duels in the sense that she beats them, but it's fake because she lies about her strength. Agnes, after cleaning up Eleanor's hermitage, she arranges to study abroad and heads for the Scarlet Moon Empire. Tristan, he becomes the captain of the Royal Garden Oval's army. What? Noah, she quit being a petty thief and now helps out Shampoo and company with her business on the island. Adrian, opening up a shop in the King of Oval. She always has orders pouring in. Setsu continues to serve the royal family of Oval until his dying day. Now Coley returns to Day Island and opens up a visit with Champo. Champo, the business he started with Knuckle did not take off for a long time. He never gave up on it. Fungi, upon returning to Ross, really refines his cooking and becomes a brilliant chef at the newly rebuilt Hall of Knights. Bacola, she travels south determined to study the latest trends in cherry design. Maxine, she disappears, saying that her contract has been fulfilled. Basil, he goofed around on Nay a bit, but eventually returned to the sea, becoming a crew member on the merchant ship. Igor, he still makes a living, fleecing small change from travelers with stingy games. Leland, after returning to Desenar Island with her sister, she goes and search the others who have been missing. Carl, he left on a journey to a distant land in hopes of becoming stronger than ever before. Gunter, fed up with the precarious life of gambling, he now manages a small restaurant in Middleport. Desmond, he is depressed for a while when Luis left, but now he works diligently on the setsu. Luis, around the time when the kingdom began to regain its vigor, Luis disappeared, unbeknownst to anyone. Kevin, he returns to Louis Island again, once again opens the cafe. Pam, she returns to Lilia Island where her famous buns are once again in high demand. That sounds wrong. Taisuke, they said he traveled throughout the land, building luxurious bathhouses everywhere he went. Now Leo becomes a pirate rem reminiscent of Dario, at least that is what the legend says. Ardo, he's now working on designing a new secret ship so he didn't die with Tav. Oscar, he is often seen as tipping tea in the company of Deborah and Middleport. Chadley, he worked his heart out to buy a new helmet with the money he earned. Yeah, he wasn't the Mushroom Man. That that was definitely a missed opportunity. Yeah, he was the chef from the uh, Hall of Knights. 
We talked to him like a few times. And I guess we're in credits. Enjoy the credits. briefly speak during the credits. This is a callback to a classic Suikoden in one song. Kind of a nice touch. But we'll talk later.
You made it, Steve. Congratulations. I just love, I would love to know what's going through Steve's mind when he just sees a close up of somebody in a boat and he just pulls back. You, you get to decide what that means, Steve. No one can take that away from you. If 
you're <laughs> expecting snow. <laughs> Is chat booting him from the ship again? More cutscenes. Why is this still happening? I'm assuming this is now the 108 star cutscene. Is this Link's Awakening? Yes, Steve. How did we even end up in the boat? I have so many questions. He's like, guys? Guys, are you coming back? I, I didn't die. I got all the stars, guys. At least I'm not snow. All right, chat. I think this might be going for a record for longest credits. Game, are you done? Is there gonna be another cutscene? <laughs> I swear that what a, what a marathon chat sitting through this. Okay, we're fading to black. That's hopeful. Giant fish emerges and eats his boat. I know. Where's the kraken? Congratulations, you've cleared the game. You can now save the cleared data here. Uh, sure. We'll save it on slot number nine. Save successful chat. What happens if I go from the cleared save file? Where does this put me? Wait a minute, hold on. Are you telling me this game had a skip cutscene, but you can only do it in New Game Plus? Are you serious? Are you actually kidding me right now? They have a skip... Where was this the entire rest of the game? Do you know how much better this would have been? Are you kidding? Wow. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it too, chat. I don't even know what to say. Well, we get to fight Snowship. So, like, did we? Oh my gosh, never gonna stop talking. He's talking a lot, and I'm like, listen, I know how this is gonna end. Whoa, chat, wow, we should really, oh, oh, finger slip, oops. My finger slip, chat, finger slip. <laughs> Darn, chat, golly gee, we just got outplayed by the enemy. Oh, did you see Snow had his own little image there? I don't know if I've noticed that before. Oh my... Oh, I hit yes by accident. Wow. My bad, chat. I just want to see what our items are. I might be able to check without going through here. Okay, so we kept our... Everything in our inventory, it looks. But we reset our levels. I'm just gonna... Oh my gosh, game, please. I, I can't cancel the menu. What do you want from me? I, thank you. Wow. Oh, you want me to heal or some nonsense? It's fine. The game will figure out what it wants me to do eventually. How dare the game make me use kindness drops? How dare it, chat? I'm so mad we got in the tutorial again. 
mind. I'll combo attack. End the fight. I just want to check our stuff. Let's go. And then we'll go back to the other file before we beat the game. Okay. Yeah, look how fast this would have been. I mean, I still have to do that. All right. First. I'm just gonna select the top option repeatedly until the duel's over. To be real with you, chat, I'm not gonna try. Let's get destroyed by Teach. Are you really picking the same option as me? Are you doing this to me right now? Chad, I have a one in three. Please stop. Fine, I will. Please kill me. Thank you. Just want to see what our other items are like. Come on, beginning of the game. I must know for the sake of the playthrough. So some things you can get through easy. Okay, just want to get to this point. Wow, we really do start with everything. More or less. Figure of an old man. What? That's new. Five equals a lottery ticket? Why do I have a supplementary ticket? So I could just ridiculously start with all the pirate stuff at the beginning of the game. It's kind of funny. Wow, the character is basically unkillable right now, chat. Look at that. <laughs> 87 defense. Anyway. Mm. Looks like all my equip runes are gone and all my equipment is gone. But if I leave it in my inventory in general, it looks like it's still in here. Yeah, look, look, chat. I even, I even start with the double strike or kind of interesting. So anyway, we're going to do a, a classic reset. And we're going to check one thing before we conclude the playthrough. And then I, I guess we'll go into the review. I guess I'm ready. I don't really need to gather too many thoughts for the game. Uh, when was our last good save? Would have been... Seven? I have to ignore the lucky cat in the corner of our room. So where was the librarian? Were they on the fourth floor? We're like all the way in the back. They were in the treasure hunt room. So I'm missing a couple of books, but some of them are minigame locks, so we'll just deal with it. When rune cannons appeared, previous combat methods became entirely ineffective, and naval battles have never been the same since then. Rune cannons were first identified approximately 15 years ago. It's held that the fleet affiliated with Middleport possessed them, and even now there's no way to attain them except at Middleport. Rune magic is sealed into the spheres called rune shells, and its power is instantly magnified, then fired by passing it through a lens like cannon. Larger rune shells are said to have the power to destroy a ship with a single shot. Bonus needed are unknown. There is even a theory the material was summoned from another world by a wizard with extraordinary summoning spells. So that was Warlock. At first glance, this theory seems nonsensical. Of course it is. JRPG. But it also is true that reports of strange creatures appearing and attacking ships began to surface around this time. These two phenomena may be related somehow. Man hunting incident. Thank you for sticking around, Calvisham. Hope you get some rest. The grievous incident that once occurred on the border between the Moon Empire and the Kuluk Empire will be reported here. Here's a conflict lay between the Moon Empire and the Kuluk Empire, and for a long time they would carve away at each other's strength. However, the Scarlet Moon Empire made a proposal, and both sides settled on a truce for an indefinite period of time. Amidst this situation, there was a faction of nobles on the Scarlet Moon side who could not suppress their raging blood. They'd gained distinction in the war against Kuluk, and it said they would... Ruin patience with the truce. 
Soon, their agitation took the form of hunting. They attacked small villages along the border, one after another. They said that they did... That when they did, they disguised themselves as Kuluk troops. Perhaps due to this for a long time, the series of incidents was perceived to be over border disputes. Finally, having found out the true state of things, the tacticians of the Scarlet Moon Empire issued a warning. They said, This is an opposition against the Kuluk's army's sneak attacks. And did not listen. During this time, a serious incident occurred where a subordinate of the tacticians used some kind of great power to murder the faction of nobles. The tactician was banished immediately from the Scarlet Moon Empire. So that is the story of Eleanor and the antagonist. However, it is said that no more ca cases of manhunting were reported after this. Okay, bargain list. So this is just what items you can find where. I'm so sad we never got the cat mask. I'm so sorry, chat. Not in this playthrough. Easy way to make equipment. Oh, you are not telling me how to make things. I'm not reading this. We'll read the history books. The El Il Battle. The Kuluk's Empire's expansion to the south commenced with the completion of the strong fort in El Il, the southernmost point of the nation. Formation of three new fleets. Feeling threatened by this, the Gaian dukedoms dispatched the Knights of Razriel and the fleet affiliated with Middleport to El Il and launched a sneak attack. However, this assault was foiled in no time at all by the counterattack launched by the first Kuluk fleet. The Gaian dukedom military was forced to withdraw. After this, Kulik forces invaded Middleport, stationing troops there. The Kulik forces later left after Middleport agreed to establish itself as an independent city. Presently, though, Fort Eliel is somewhat on the stagnant side, and it is said that it's suddenly making preparations to advance southward. So that's the plot of the game. Well, that's it in terms of history books. Everything else is just locked away. That's unfortunate. So, Chan, I'm going to give some final thoughts as it decides whether or not it wants to connect or reconnect. How annoying. Um, I think in terms of the main playthrough, I think it was trying to hint that the giant tree was indeed the birth of every rune cannon shell, which I don't think the game made very, very clear. I mean, I guess you could kind of piece together that it was Warlock that helped them make the super weapon, but I thought it was only for the super weapon, not just rune cannons briefly existed and then immediately phased out of existence as soon as the tree died. That seemed kind of weird. Yeah. So anyway, that that was odd. We'll, we'll talk more, I think, in the review itself, but that's just something I wanted to incorporate in the main playthrough. The ending was a bit weird. Definitely those credits were way too long. So anyway, chat, we're going to switch over to Let's Chat. So we're going to put on some Suikoden music, but from the standpoint of YouTube slash the VOD, we're at the point that many of you are aware of, and that is saying goodbye to YouTube. So if indeed you are at this point, I hope you enjoyed Suikoden 4, and we'll be talking about it more in the review after this. But for now, I'd just like to thank you for watching and hope to see you again next time.